Hi guys, this is Snyder from Ghost of Gamers, standing here with somebody has, that has been crushing people all day. This is Azubu Violet. So, Violet, you're 5-0 in the group. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Um, actually, when I got first here, I mean, I am. I feel like really not comfortable because I have a lot of stress if, until coming here, getting here. And, so, and then I didn't sleep well, like only a couple hours, so I'm like really not comfortable. But when I play first match, then I got kind of confidence. So I am just keep confidence and is uh, doing good. So it's just confidence that uh, got you through the games or is this something else that pushed you to the first place? Uh, not like someone pushed my for, for first, for, uh, first place, but my plan is a first place. Okay. Though I, but actually, and then, uh, I forget the word. Uh, yeah, my plan was the first place, but uh, you, is it? This you're not sure to get that you would get it. Yeah, because okay. uh, I I'm still tired, so I didn't think I can make first place on my group. But now I'm got. You can see my face like smile. I am really comfortable, so I really feel good with I am right now. Do you think that after a couple of couple of days rest, because the playoffs aren't starting till the eighth, I think, uh, playoffs are on the eighth. Do you think that you'll get enough rest to crush everybody in the playoffs as well? Yeah, now is uh, like already Group A B finished, right? Yep. So I can imagine who gonna will be the t round eight, and then I'm really with a comfortable confidence with the day player because. Mostly is Korean, and I play in Korean leather a lot, so I'm feeling really good, actually. Who are you most scared of facing in the playoffs, and who would you like to face in the playoffs from those guys? Uh, I like to play against the Protoss, and then I have to worry about the Yoda because I know he doing really good, but he some reason he don't have a lucky at the tournament. But this time I think he have a really good chance too. So if I meet Yora, if I beat him, yeah, I can be champion in this tournament. So I wanna, I just worry about the Yora and I do like to play any Protoss, I don't care. This is actually super strange because we've been talking to people and uh, the the general opinion is like, Zerg loses to Protoss very hard because Void Ray is OP. O apparently this is the theme of the tournament. So. It's super surprising for me that you say that you want to play Protoss. Is, are you feeling that confident in the matchup? Mm, I have a really fun with it against Protoss. That's why I want to play against Protoss. Even I lose, well, yeah, even I lose, I really f have a, had a fun or, always. That's why I just like Protoss. Yeah, but Protoss is still strong. So I just I just like to play against Protoss. Cause, uh, yeah, because CBZ have a like like stress, like one banning can make change, yeah, you know, and against Protoss, uh, against Terran, like, you know, like 11 level Rex, Froxy Rex, like 8 Froxy Rex or Reaper or something, I hate it, but Protoss, I can make macro game just what I want, that's why I like to play against Protoss. Is the, mic uh, is the macro game uh, of ZVP in Heart of the Swamp different than the ZVP in Wings of Liberty? Yeah, it's a totally changed because Wings of Liberty, you can a jerk can just make a spine color and make it faster and Brood War just just sitting whole day and when you get like more max army like 220, you know Jerker can make it like cancel it, yeah, and then pushing and win. But now in Heart Swamp, just Protoss is doing same thing. They make Portal Cannon and. You know, Void Ray, Tempest, High Templar sitting all day, and when they have a max, just come out and just, you know, crush everything. Yeah, it's really changes. It's so bad. But it's basically, you know, the other way around. It's not that the matchup has become more aggressive or more dynamic. It's just basically, Protoss has grown passive instead of Zerg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, what I w uh, so you're on the Zubu now, uh, and you have. Now you have a lot of teammates, uh, like 2012 you were the only uh, person that has been wearing the Azubu t-shirt. Do you like it more with having teammates or do you still prefer having a, to be just one man army? Oh, well, I of course I like to with my teammates because when I like, when I alone, it's like kind of lonely because I don't have any talk like strategy and about StarCraft 2 with other my 
uh, other StarCraft two player because they all most of play have a team. But so I'm like thinking myself, and but now I can ha have a lots of Zubu mates, and they and Zubu uh, Zubu also more focused on StarCraft two, so they take care of me a lot, and I I'm really friend now. I'm really friendly with the Zubu teammate. Yeah, it's a kind of family, so I'm really like it actually, and I actually live in a Zubu house right now. I was just going to ask you, will you be moving to Korea permanently now that you're a part of Azubu? When I move to Korea? Yeah, are you staying in Korea permanently now? Uh, I'm not sure because I have a plan for in USA, so I'm trying to get moved to USA, but I actually like to stay in Seoul, so I just think a lot, but I'm not sure yet. Who's the best guy on Azubu in Heart of the Spoon? Uh, Azubu San and Azubu Supernova. Is it really now? They are like, like most of the top three, like include me and in, in Azubu. They are Protoss and Terra and Minjur. We are balancing and really good. They are really good. Okay, so Heart of the Swamp coming in officially in one week. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a pro player, uh, if you have to give one advice to the new guys that will be starting playing Heart of the Swamp, what do Zerg players need to do? to crush the ladder? Uh, first, if you play Jerg on Hearthstorm, you must play a lot, because a lot of strategy is coming in, already happened and they will coming more strategy in Hearthstorm, so you guys need to lose a lot from this strategy, like, you know, like frog some cheese or macro, like a proto sitting all day like that, you have to run from the ladder or practicing for all the experience so you can make it like safety what you have to yeah that's the only way to doing good at hard swamp because i already practiced like almost 400 game already so i know who do who ready who like my opponent doing what what doing they what like like cheesing or macro i can feeling because I already, you know, I already lose a lot. So yeah, you, only way is a good at hard swim. If you want to jerk, you have just must just a lot of practicing. Do you feel that the the race itself has become more difficult to play, or is it easier now? Uh, it's uh, more difficult, of course, because new a lot of units coming, but also they have a skill that so you have to use when like a like good timing right so is it really harder than wings of liberty also for especially jerk Funger is not like you know is is a, yeah it's like now is like like missile you know so it's and then it's slow so it's more micro you need this is like everything is more much harder than wings of liberty uh what about like is it a weaker race or a stronger race now compared to the other two now Jerk is kind of a uh, easier to race because Protoss and Terran have to a lot of things to do and late game they are really good. So well I I'm Jerk but even if I well even Jerk yeah even if I Protoss or Terran I will say Jerk is really bad now. Okay. Uh, so we've been actually talking to Kilaris, one of the casters here. Uh, he's been saying practi uh, practically this, like that he's sharing your opinion that Zerk is the weakest race. He told us that Zerk needs something in the uh, in the mid game that needs to uh, set up a good late game. Do you think this is the case or do you see it differently? Yeah, Zerk must do something on early or like middle timing, do some damage, so can make macro. But if like boss players like same, just greedy and go macro, Jerg never gonna win. Yeah, Jerg must do something damage in the middle or early timing. Um, apart from, uh, so, <laughs> apart from your group, uh, your group today, have you seen any other games from groups A and B? No, I just got here really late. So I didn't watch any games, and then I just started today my tournament. So maybe tomorrow I watch a VOD something. Yeah, because tomorrow I'm free. You said that you've been playing the Koreans the most. Uh, how much do you know about the foreigners and their skill in Heart of the Swamp? Who is the best outside of Korea uh, that's here in Hanover today? Uh, if we wings over Liberty, I can say like a Stefano, but 
how to swim? We don't know yet because who player practicing a lot? Who player have a, like really good strategy, like smart things? So we don't know. So I can't say. But I only know TLO playing a lot in Korean leather too. And when I met him on leather, he do something smart things. So I have a. I'm actually exciting to watch it, TLO play tomorrow. Thinks he will do well. Will he pass the group? Not. Oh, well, I think Group D, Dream gonna first place, but yeah, Cielo, I just looking forward to like exciting to watch. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think we will wrap this up. Uh, thank you, Valet, for having us. This was Nader from Gaussi Gamers. We'll be closing this whole day of coverage because it's getting pretty late and we are all super tired. I need to say something. Okay, yeah. say. Uh, I want to say thanks for my sponsor, Zubu and Razor. If you guys. Uh, 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 wondering about Azubu, uh, please visit azubu.com. Also, if you guys have any questions, please visit me my Twitter. My Twitter is just Azubu Violet, one word. And thank you for watching and keep sharing me on IEM. Okay, so this was us again with Violet, and we'll be closing this up. See you uh, with more coverage tomorrow. Thanks.